This stream looks peaceful. But beneath the surface, it is under attack by foreign invaders. We're looking at a, sort of an ecological meltdown. Barely bigger than a grain of sand, New Zealand mud snails are not native to the United States. That means their population can easily get out of control. They reproduce with gusto. Uh, one, one snail can be responsible for 10, 15, 20 million snails within, within a year. To make matters worse, the snails don't need a mate to reproduce. They're basically born pregnant. You can squish them and they just shoot out little, more little snails. Large populations of snails take food from other insects and destroy the natural balance of the stream. The stream will be dead eventually. I mean, all there'll be is snails. The death of streams like those in Malibu Creek State Park would ruin a special retreat for city dwellers. This is an awesome way to get away from all the like disgusting sprawl of like Los Angeles itself. This is like my church. I come out four times a week. Hikers are one of the ways the snail is spread to new areas. They can be picked up with the mud on hikers' boots. The snails also ride on horses' hooves, fishermen's waders, and bike tires. Stopping the snails from spreading from stream to stream requires the help of the public. But most people don't know about the problem. I've never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of, what are they called again? <laughs> Concerned groups have put up warning signs to get the word out about the snails. They are asking people to clean and dry anything that might have collected mud when they passed through streams. Scientists are still working on a way to permanently get rid of the snails. I don't see them going away anywhere anytime soon. It's just a matter now of trying to control their spread. Limiting the spread of these tiny invaders will help preserve precious natural areas for the future. Cassie Richardson, Annenberg TV News.